15 i can't really move really so i can't uh, go in uh, i can stand on bmi machine so that is no no way so i can skip the idea and then in 2017 i th i think uh, now i have the power to walk and i can stand on a bmi machine in 2017 december i went to max hospital and then i went to dr chobe after bmi so oh dr chobe says you have to do a very strict diet i can say okay i can i can say if i i lose here then i lose very very chances to to recover myself well i think uh, one day in uh, the month of december i was uh, conducting my outpatients suddenly uh, meher's wheelchair came in you know and uh, i couldn't believe my eyes that uh, he was grossly obese his body mass biomax index was 84 which is amazingly high and he was not able to open his eyes and his weight at that time approximate weight was 237 kg to 247 kg because he could stand just for a moment was not able to stand so we uh, somehow tried to make him stand and that's what i think approximate weight was and uh, he was not able to breathe he was breathless he was not able to speak because uh, he, he was not able to uh, keep his eyes open because he was face was puffy and he was dozing off and sleeping every minute or two because of uh, daytime sleeping i can suffer very because my weight is too high so i can do, do everything but i will uh, so problems like if i walk through year to year and i stand here for 2 seconds then my legs start paining terrible so that is too tough it's too tough i want to do many things but i can't do because i can walk it and uh, when i asked about the age and i was told that he is 14 years of age which i couldn't believe that in just 14 years of age he could reach to the dangerous bmi level of 84 uh, i was very disturbed and quite upset and very sad about the fact that i thought that i don't think i will be able to really do anything for this person because his oxygen saturation etc everything was low beyond our uh imagination or beyond our parameters on which we can take him up for surgery at the age of 5 doctor says me that his his weight was gaining so you must concern to pediatric endocrine but eating habits mainly is junk food which in children like most is the big problem cold drinks ice cream chips he like that and the main family heredity but we uh, definitely thought that we need to work for him and uh, within few minutes i realized that the child is motivated not only the child is motivated but i realized that the family is also motivated and supportive so then we thought that we will take up that challenge after two weeks again and uh, i i could see that his eyes are opening a little bit more he had i think lost couple of kilograms which he realized that he's feeling even with a few kilograms weight loss and uh, we a uh, hope of re sort of uh, we could see that that possibly we can work on it Well, generally with the 84 BMI, I, I think the only surgery which possibly one can think of is uh, a gastric sleeve. But we are uh, strongly in favor of gastric bypass because first of all, it's a gold standard operation. Second, it is a reversible operation, and of course, it is a time-honored operation. So we always feel that if we we can do gastric bypass, that would have been. the right thing and we struggled quite a bit during operation but we were fortunate and also we were happy 
that we could do a gastric bypass in his BMI of 84, which is quite difficult to imagine otherwise. In a first week of April, my surgeries happened. And that day, my life is changed properly. Today, I will walk properly and I can walk easily here to parking and I don't have any problem. I, I can not have pain in the legs and no, not nothing. And today we are very happy that he's 172 kilograms. So he has lost a lot of weight. He's a very confident child and he understands, he loves talking. He loves giving his frank opinions. Uh, sometimes uh, he's not very happy with his parents because they restrict him uh, on some food or uh, tells him to walk, which he may not be in a mood to do that. But apart from that, that I think he's a very jovial, uh, very motivated, a very fun-loving boy. Well, I think he's totally different. It's very difficult to recognize that he's the same because uh, when I saw him for the first time, it was really a frightening look, uh, which was frightening for him and for us also that, you know, how you're going to manage. And I think he has done wonderfully well. He has set an example how all the youngsters should do the motivation, you know. So how are you doing? Good sir. Good? You are losing weight? Yes. So you are a great inspiration for all our young people. He's really motivated and whatever we said he did it, though with difficulty, but he never said no that I will not do it.